everyone and welcome back to another video! My name is Priscilla and I upload makeup related content on my channel. If you're into drugstore, affordable makeup, even some high-end makeup here and there, then I do hope you consider subscribing to this wonderful channel. And if you're new, welcome! And if you're coming back, welcome back! In today's video, I'm going to do a get ready with me using makeup from Dollar Tree. I'll link the haul where I showed these products in. I'll link that in the description box below. And if you guys are interested on how some of these products perform, then keep on watching. I did pick up three lip products. Well, actually five. But three of them are like lip oils, hydrating products. So here they are. I'm going to be applying them throughout the video since most of like lip oils, things like that, they tend to wear off anyway. So I'm first going to go ahead and apply the Be Pure Mint Lip Oil to kind of just start it off. It does smell like spearmint. Oh, I put a lot already. Ooh. Let's just spread that. Okay, I didn't even need to squeeze it. It was already coming out. It reminds me of like spearmint, like gum or mint. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of me wearing like repeated sweaters. It's because I currently live in sweaters. Our weather is, is just weird. It's like hot one day, then cold another day, cloudy. So right now we're in a cloudy kind of cold day, so sweater it is. It's just my comfy, my comfort. So the products that I do have from Dollar Tree are lip and eye products. So I'm going to go ahead and do everything else until we get to the eyes. So I'll be right back. I do have one of the sponges. This is part of the Mother's Day collection area that they have going on at Dollar Tree. It's the Blend Sponge and Stand By... Green Briar. It's from the Dollar Tree brand. Uh, so this is how it looks. It's wet. It does fit still good while it's wet. So let's go ahead. I just want to go in and go around. Press it in. But I just wanted to show you guys since I did purchase it during that haul. Let's use the sponge to go through the concealer here. Or blend out the concealer. <laughs> go through. <laughs> did a decent job this here which is the bienvenidos a miami mini mix face palette by ofra it's not something that i picked up at dollar tree just to clarify but i haven't used this one and um i totally forgot to include this in my previous video where i was shopping that drawer that had new makeup this was actually in that drawer but i have moved it into my face palettes but i hadn't even used it yet so totally missed an opportunity to play with it there so i'm gonna go ahead and just try it out today and you know just bring you guys along with me on this it does have the six shades so two blushes two highlighters and two bronzers i'm gonna go in with this one this one is uh too deep for me and it's Cafecito Bronzer. Just go with it. For the blush, I'm going to go in with the Vice. This one here. For the highlighter, I'm going to go in with Magic City. We're going to just put a little bit, a little bit on the nose. And there you have this palette. So I have the bronzer in Cafecito, the blush in Vice, and the highlighter in Magic City. So this row here on. And I like it. This one actually took some time to build up. I don't know why I thought it was going to be darker. I do like this cover too. Just you know. I like how it goes over. It's just not one that's just like the plastic 
like slit that goes over it but it actually acts like a like a little case i actually really like that before we jump into the eyes i am now going to try another one of those lip products and this one is the hydrating lip mask by be pure it doesn't say compare it to, but this one, it reminds me of the Neutrogena. The Neutrogena brand has a lip mask too, and I did buy that one. And it has like the same pinky tint and everything. The only thing is that one, I stopped using it because the bottom right here, it popped. So like the product was coming out from down here at the same time, so I just tossed it. Um, but for some reason, this reminds me of that product. It smells good. Yeah, it smells good. I can I don't remember how, if the other one had a smell or not. It smells good. Feels hydrating. So for eyes, I do have an eyeshadow quad and a mascara. So for the eyeshadow quad, it's I chose the LA Colors of Bubble Tea Eyeshadow in Strawberry Shimmer. I do have two other of the quads from this collection, um, but I decided to go with this one. Oh. You guys already know my whole things fall in every video thing. Alrighty, so I'm just going to use it like this. It does have two mattes and two shimmer shades. So I'm going to start off with, uh, yeah, let's just go with this one. We'll start off with the lightest shade here. Put that in the crease. It does have fallout, so be aware. And I don't mean fallout. I don't know if it has fallout yet, but I mean pickup. It has a pickup. So next I'm gonna go in with the deeper matte shade. So we have two shades. They're not swatching like the best off my finger, so we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and put this one here on the lid and that one's going to be the inner corner and I'm just going to go with my finger or should I try to wet a brush? Let's try both. Let me try one with my finger and then the other one I'll wet the brush. So with my finger I'll go on, on this one. Mm, not my favorite. Nope. We'll try a brush. I'm going to try picking some up with the brush and then I'll spray it. And then I'll apply it uh, much better. Okay. A little better. Oh yeah, definitely much better if you use a brush and you wet it, you get better pigmentation. Sometimes you have to try both of the techniques when it comes to like these kind of quads where you're just not getting good pigmentation using the finger or maybe a dry brush. So sometimes wetting them, you get better payoff. Um, definitely what it looks like with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye the same way and I'll be right back. Now I'm just going to go into this light shade here as an inner corner and I'll put that on my brow bone. So taking a look, like a closer look, I do have a little bit of fallout here but I think it's initially from when I went in and applied it with my finger because I have some fallout on this side but it isn't as it is on this side and honestly it's not as much fallout as some other eyeshadow palettes like I love Natasha Denona their mattes are just lovely to blend and even her shimmer shades are just nicely pigmented but it does have fallout her eyeshadows do have fallout so compared to that one with this shimmer shade it's not that bad of course again her shimmer shades are like highly pigmented but yeah, so if you're just needing a comparison, not bad. The other eye product I have is the uh, Beauty Intuition Big Plump Lashes Mascara. 
This one's black and this one is supposed to instant plump and curl. The other one I have is lengthening, so let's try it out. So it does have like a bit of an hourglass. I'm just not sure about the brush because it's not, I don't know, it doesn't look like it's gonna comb through really nicely, but we'll see. Actually, before I even go in with, mas with the mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my Neutrogena Hydrating Setting Spray Hydro Boost. Um, that way I could just get this part good. I love how that smells. It smells, I don't know. I don't mind the smell of this one. And I'm not going to curl my lashes because I'm still letting them just... I honestly think the eyelash curler was cutting off my lashes because my lashes never came off from the base i just have short lashes throughout like if they were um cut off basically so i have a feeling that's what it was because i i started having the issue once i bought that eyelash curler so i'm not happy about that okay that's one coat second coat I'm going in with a third and final quote, coat. So here you guys have the mascara. Before I go in with the two additional lip products, I am going to try out the last lip oil here. And this is part of their Boba collection. It's the Juice Bar Lip Oil. I have it in grape. Oh my gosh, the struggle is real, people. The struggle. Really? I feel like a kid in Christmas. Huh. Trying to get into my present. It does have the artificial grape smell. And it's more of a thicker lip oil. It's like between a lip oil and a lip gloss consistency. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the lip oil and then try out the lip products. I kind of feels funny now. So I do have two of the Beauty Intuition lip products. I have the lipstick, which is a bold and bright lipstick in shade Rosy Nude. And I also have the Get Ready to Shine Lip Gloss in Rosy Nude. So we're going to apply the lipstick first. The lipstick itself, like this part right here, the it feels like a little textury, so that's kind of weird. But otherwise, I do like that color, and it feels good. And even like the since it has like this part of it, you can use that to line the bottom of your lips. And then here's the shade, and then we're just gonna apply on top the lip gloss. Does that have a smell? I didn't tell you guys if it did. No, there's no smell. No smell. The lip gloss. No, no smell. And here are the shades next to each other. Even though they have the same shade name, this one is a lot pinkier. I like this one. It's like a pink brown. Definitely pigmented. It doesn't feel thick like a traditional lip gloss it does feel like it has a thin formula but a thin formula where you're gonna find it on your teeth that kind of formula i feel so i'm not sure how that is it's this is the first time that i've tried it so we'll see but mm, i'm not really caring for this color so i'm gonna take it off and just have the lipstick on so here you guys have the final look using some of these Dollar Tree products that I have recently picked up. So let's go ahead and talk about them, shall we? So the sponges that I picked up, as I mentioned, um, I would go with the Sassy and Chic if you're trying a new sponge and you're looking at Dollar Tree. Definitely try it out. Even though this one has cute little stand to it, it's not that bad. It is just a bit firm firmer so if you like a firmer sponge then try this one but if you like a more bouncy one then definitely try out the um, sassy and chic one so for the lip 
oil products or like lip oils, lip masks. I do have three. I have the Be Pure Lip Oil Mint Scented, the Be Pure Hydrating Night Mask, and the LA Colors uh, Juice Bar Lip Oil. Out of the three, I definitely say if you find this one from Be Pure, which is the Night Lip Mask, pick this one up because it is it does feel nicely hydrating on the lips. So if you like to put something like this on while you're getting your makeup done, then highly recommend this one. This one was okay, but I wouldn't repurchase it. And this one was also okay, but I wouldn't repurchase it. And this one has like that filling on the lips. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But there are some products like this that when you put them on, they kind of feel like they want to numb your lips, but they're not. Like it feels weird on the lips. You guys know what I'm saying? Like they don't have a mint plumping kind of effect. Nothing like that, but it just feels weird on the lips. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about in the comments below. So I know I'm not the only one. Now the eyes. So I do have one of the LA Colors quads and the mascara. The quad itself, I actually do like how the eyeshadow look came out. It's like an everyday eye look. So if I wanted to go run some errands, I want it, you know, I love eyeshadow no matter what. I can be in sweats. Um, going out in public in like a sweat outfit and I would still do my makeup and I would do eyeshadow because I just love eyeshadow. The only thing of course is if you just apply these two shades just like that, they're not that pigmented. You do have to wet your brush and pick up the product to get more pigment. So far out of this year's LA Colors collections, my favorite eyeshadow quads have been from the Madly Marvelous collection. I actually do like those. I still have two that I haven't even played with. So gonna be playing with those hopefully soon. Um, I just keep buying like especially LA Colors because it's so affordable. I just want to try it out just to even see if it's worth the $1.25. So I don't know. But this one, if you do wet your brushes, then yes, I do recommend this quad here if you still find them. I'm still finding the Just Vibin collection here and there at Dollar Tree. So I'll find maybe like a blush or I think right now that I see a lot are the highlighters and the bronzer shades. And I have been seeing some of the bu um, Bubba Bar quads too, especially like the blue one. I have still been seeing those because they just put whatever is remaining in the entire makeup aisle. You just have to kind of spot them. The mascara itself, I thought it was okay. Is it my favorite? No. Would I pick it up again? No. Would I reach for it? Mm, probably not if I'm being honest because again, I have other mascaras that I like a lot. Essence, it's $4.99, so a couple of bucks more, but they perform a lot better personally. So I would rather spend the $4.99 rather than the $1.25 for the mascara because I know it's a mascara I will reach for. So just my thoughts on that. And then lastly, the lip products. So I have a lipstick and a lip gloss. They have the same name, yet they're different colors. So lip gloss, I pass on it. It feels really thin. Some people like that and it's highly pigmented, but I feel like it will be on my teeth throughout the day. So I have to keep playing with it, of course, but, and the color itself is not a color that I would want to reach for. So most likely I won't be reaching for it. So this one in particular, if you like the shade, then sure. But me personally, I wouldn't pick it up if I knew then what I know now. <laughs> and then the lipstick. Let me know. Whoa. Woo. I almost dropped my mirror. Oh my goodness. Okay. They don't have no smells. But let me know if your guys' lipstick, if you've purchased a Beauty Intuition lipstick, if it has like a texture, it feels like I am slightly exfo slightly exfoliating my lips when I apply it. And I'm not sure if that's normal or not. I don't see like little fibers or nothing. I just see little like dots and stuff. I wonder if you guys can see. Cause, because sometimes it doesn't show on the camera.
So yes, let me know if your guys' lipstick has a bit of a texture too and it feels like you're slightly exfoliating as you're applying it. If that's normal, I don't know. This is my first time purchasing a Beauty Intuition lipstick. And so there you guys have my thoughts, my first impressions on the makeup that I recently bought at Dollar Tree. Let me know if you share the same thoughts as I do or if you have different thoughts regarding these products. Let us know in the comments below if you tried them before and what do you think. Or if there's any other Dollar Tree products that you recommend for us to try. Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't, I do hope you consider subscribing to this wonderful channel. I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye, everyone.